The lights at this office just went out and nationwide the H&R Block Twitter account has been silent for more than 24 hours. I was able to get a hold of a company spokesperson today who told me that the stimulus money it has should arrive in bank accounts today. We are asking CBS2 viewers to keep us posted. If that doesn't happen, here's the situation in the meantime. I feel relieved. What a difference a day can make. This was about 24 hours earlier. It's just hard. While certified nursing assistant Stephanie Robluski was treating COVID patients, her husband Drew was tending to the mystery of her missing stimulus payment. The IRS showed the money went to an unrecognizable account. Turns out H&R Block had it. It freaked not only me, but quite a few people out too. Oh yes, other confused viewers shared emails from the tax preparation business showing the IRS is being blamed for shipping stimulus checks to millions of refund transfer accounts. H&R Block uses them to collect then pass on a customer's tax refund while also reimbursing itself for filing fees. Quote unquote, temporary account in my name. Lawrence Henriksen points to his contract with H&R Block and its partner Axos Bank from last spring. This section says, quote, we will close your refund account after your authorized payments are made. And if it were closed, that money that the IRS sent would have been immediately returned and then they would have issued paper checks. You have reached the H&R Block Media Desk. We asked multiple times about the clearly not closed refund transfer accounts and were emailed back. We have no additional information to share. You've reached the Office of Media Relations for the Internal Revenue Service. Did the feds not give H&R Block a heads up? The IRS has not returned CBS2's phone calls for days. We will continue to ask questions on behalf of H&R Block customers, including those who don't use the refund transfer accounts, but still have their money passed through the company. Lauren, I know you will. I, I want to ask about another IRS issue here. What about the people who did not get the stimulus check the first time around? Maybe they weren't eligible, eligible but they may be eligible now because of a layoff. Well, I spoke with an independent tax expert who said her best advice is to file your 2020 taxes as early as possible. That way the government will have your proper address and your direct deposit information. Lauren Victory Live for us tonight. Thank you so much, Lauren.